Sparsy Source here with a video going more in depth about the upcoming fight between Adrian Broner and Adrian Granados that will be on Saturday, February 18th in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is Adrian Broner's first fight back since his win over Ashley Theophane April 1st at the D.C. Armory in Washington, D.C. Of course, we know about the issues that he had after that fight with Ashley Theophane, um, legal troubles, had a little altercation with somebody over a bowling incident. Uh, but here we're going to go a little bit on his in the ring or um, around the ring boxing troubles. Going back to that fight between him and Ashley Theophane on April 1st, he held a title at that point and the thing was uh he was a champion at that weight class at 140 pounds uh he had the super lightweight title after winning it uh, against Khabib Balak Verdiev in 2015 and this was going to be his first defense of that title um, after winning a, uh, three, uh, via Tikio victory over Khabib Alec Verdiev. And leading up to that fight in the uh, DC Armory, it seemed like Adrian Broner wasn't really training to be the WBA super lightweight title. And so, once the days came closer to that fight against him and Ashley Theophane, he was coming into, you know, training overweight, um, going through this fight like it was just another fight, and that he didn't keep that 140-pound limit over the course of the uh, training for that fight against Theophane. And once the uh, weights were being tallied, um, March, you know, at the end of March, March 30, March 31st, Broner came in there overweight, tried to see if he could dehydrate, get the weight down, couldn't do it. So he ended up relinquishing that WBA super lightweight belt. Um, and it wasn't on the line for him. He couldn't win that belt back. He ended up defeating Theophane by TKO and moved to 32 wins with two losses. Um, and like I said, after that, he had that legal issue. Now, here we are leading up to his next fight against uh, a former uh, training buddy, Adrian Granados. Of course, Granados is notable for upsetting the... Uh, up and coming prospect of me or a mom in uh at the end of twenty fifteen. Um and now he gets another shot here uh in the spotlight so to speak against Adrian Broner. This fight will be on Showtime in uh Cincinnati Ohio season. And at first this fight was going to be at light welterweight or super lightweight as you pretty much call it the 140 pound division but now things have changed a bit here we are just under a week before the fight happens and seems like this fight is now being put at the welterweight division um looks like from it being at the welterweight division seems like Broner isn't able to make the 140 pound limit and from what I've seen via Dan Rayfield among others is that it tried to have it at 142 pounds, and it doesn't look like Broner is able to get to that 142-pound limit. So, 
This looks like it's going to be at the full welterweight limit. So expect Adrian Broner to kind of like come in at his at whatever weight he wants to come in at, whether it's you know 144, 145, or whatever it is. Uh, it looks like he's not able to get to that 140 pound limit, which to me kind of it kind of like disappoints me because I think he's able to really have a good amount of success if he's able to stay at 140 pounds. Now, I mean, I don't see him matching up against the likes of Terrence Crawford, but I mean, there's still guys out there that he could fight. Um, I mean, there's still you know Lucas Matisse out there. There's still Chris Algieri where he's able to make a quick buck. Um, if providing the cost available, he's able to get that. Uh, Rancis Barthelemy would be a very good test or a very good fight there at 140 pounds. You have the one, you have the current WBA champion Ricky Burns that is out there for him to fight, and maybe possibly the newly crowned IBF super lightweight champion Julius Ndongo uh, if he wants to. You know, get a belt just like that. Maybe uh, he could go up against Julius Ndongo. But with the news of him not necessarily making 140 pounds up to a week before his fight in Cincinnati, Ohio. And now with this basically being a full 147-pound limit fight, it doesn't look like his plans are to be there at 140 pounds. Now, at 147 pounds, you have a very deep, very deep class there. You have Danny Garcia, who's going up against Keith Thurman for the WBC and WBA titles there. You have Kel Brook that's about to face Errol Spence Jr. You have Jesse Vargas out there with Manny Pacquiao over there on the top rank side. You have Lamont Peterson that's going to be going for the WBA regular welterweight championship on that same card that Broner and Granados are going to fight. So that is a very still a very deep division. Um you still have Sean Porter out there that did defeat Adrian Broner to give him his second loss of his career. So it's 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 a very deep division, a very deep class that I, I just don't feel that Adrian Broner is good enough to be a top guy within that division. So I would think that his best success is at the 140 pound weight class. And with this now word of him not being able to get to that 140 pound limit uh, says that it doesn't look like he's looking towards having fights at the 140 pound limit. 